Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the S21 profile switching, how you can have the S21 or any other miner when running on custom firmware, run at 100% load during cold temperatures or mild temperatures, and then slowly decrease the hash rate and still keep your uh, great efficiency, same efficiency throughout the day, even when it gets hot. So if you're worried about temperatures of 100 degrees or 90, 100, 110 and up, and you're worried about your miner being able to handle that or not, installing this custom firmware will solve that issue for you. And that's what today's video is gonna be about. So if you think that's interesting, you know what to do, hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and go to cryptollc.org. If you're looking to buy A6, looking to sell A6, uh, sw swap out some, uh, some of your other A6 or something else, maybe switch from Canon to Bitmain or maybe to What's Miner, or go from an S19 to an S21 or from S19 to K, we can help you do all of that, buying and selling at CryptoLLC.org. We also uh, provide a contracting service uh, for clients, uh, consultation, uh, building out farms, um, everything from top to bottom, everything can be done for you, uh, for your farm, for your location, any country, um, we primarily work in the United States, but we can help you build a farm in Europe if you're looking for, to do that. Um, we also have hosting available in Russia, in Ethiopia, and United States. Um, so if you're looking to host with us, you can do that as well at any of those locations. And before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, let's get started. So today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, the firmware we're using here. This is a firmware um, from Vinish. Um, this firmware custom made for us from for Crypto LLC, you can see right there. And this firmware, uh, we're gonna show you guys how we're running this, uh, what settings we're using to get optimal efficiency, um, and at the same time, get maximum hash rate. So the, one of the things that happens is, when it gets hot outside, so let's say, let's say we start off with something cold. Let's say we start off from you know, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's pretty cold outside, maybe even freezing. Um, this miner will be running at about 200 terahash. That's uh, the default speed of this miner. Now, we can also go in here and go to performance, and we can overclock it if we want to, make it run faster, right? We go down here, and we can make it run faster if we want to, but then we'd be losing efficiency as the faster you run it um, past the uh, stock, you're gonna slowly lose efficiency. In this case, we're not doing that. We're just keeping it at stock speeds, which is 200. But as you can see, we're not running at 200, we're running at 164. Now, why is that? The reason why we're running this slow is because it is 85 degrees outside, so 85 ambient. Now, we could, theoretically, we could make this miner just blow out, you know, and keep going, you know, keep going at 200 terahash, even though it's 85. The problem with that is, if you do that, we're, um, our chip temperature is not going to be 72. You can see it's 72 which is really good uh, chip temperature for 85 degree ambient outside temperatures. Chip temperature is 72. We would most likely be at 85, right? So you'd be very, very close to having the miner overheat. Um, so what we do is we do profile switching. And I'll show you guys here in performance menu. And so you can see our settings here. What we're doing is we're saying the maximum speed is 200 terahash. If the temperature is lower than 75 Celsius on the chip, so this is what the, the chip, the actual ASIC chip is uh, telling us, it's 75 degrees. If it's lower than 75 and the fan speed is less than 90, then it'll up the power limit. Basically, it'll go up one level. So it'll go up, If it, here's the levels here. So let's say if we're at 2830, it'll go up to to 2940, which will give you 169 terahash. And then again, if it's less than 75 and fan speed is, is less than 90, it'll go up to the next level, next level, next level, next level, next level, all the way. Also, it does the reverse. If the chip temperature is more than 75 and the fan speed is more than 90, basically 100% fan speed, um, then it'll be looking at that. Um, the algorithm will see what to do because it, it, it's going to be looking at you know, how, how much time went by, you can set the time here, five minute time frame, all that. But it is also, also gonna be looking at the highest temperature. So I'm telling it that if it's 85, right? If the chip temperature is 85, then, and I'm at 100% fan speed, immediately go down one profile. So let's say we're at max speed, right? Our temperature goes up, 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 gets to 85, and the fan speed is 100%, it'll go down a level, it'll go down to 3370. 
then if that's not good enough, it'll go down again and again and again and again and again and it'll keep going down. So as the temperature outside increases, so let's imagine we're at uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, we're at full blast, 60 degrees, we're full blast, 70 degrees, we might be a little bit kind of getting hot, so it'll go down a level, 75, another level, 80 degrees, another level, 85, another level, 90 degrees, you know, and so on. And at 100 degrees, you're probably going to be looking at about 150 terahash, 2600 watts. So why would you do this? The reason why you do this is you want to prolong the life of your miner. You do not want to run your miners full blast. So to give you an idea, Bitmain will um, run these miners full blast no matter what. So they just keep going at 200 terahash and once it overheats, it overheats. The overheat value is 90 degrees Celsius on the chip. Now, when you get to 90 degrees Celsius, your miner is not uh, consuming 17 watts of terahash. It is consuming 20 watts of terahash, 21, 22, 23 watts of terahash, whatever it is, you're literally going to be consuming like 100, 200, 300, 400 watts more as the chip temperature increases. You can see right here, 71. You can see for each board, 70, 71, 71. For each board, you can see that those are the temperatures. And 70 is a decent number. It is not uh, the best number. It is 65 is what you want to have. But currently the miner is at 70 as it is, it is 85. So as of right now, this miner is most likely consuming 50 watts over what it should be consuming, which is fine because it's 85 degrees outside. But you're very, very close to your initial default value of 17 watts terahash, 17, 18 watts terahash. You're right at that number. You're not increasing it. And as this goes up, as it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, this will decrease, decrease, decrease. You're still at 17, 17, 17, 17 watts terahash. You're not losing that efficiency because of the heat. Now, what Bitmain does, like I said, is it does nothing about this. It'll just mine at 200 watts terahash. Once the miner gets to 90 degrees Celsius, once this thing becomes 90, the miner will just turn off and the miner will say, hey, I overheated, you know, too bad. Um, I'm just not going to work right now and I'm going to wait for it to get cooler and then maybe I'll restart, maybe I won't, uh, depending on how Bitmain built the firmware. A lot of times they don't restart. They just sit there waiting for you to restart them manually. So those are the issues. As you can see, this one, these, this uh, firmware does not have that issue. Let me go to logs and show you. Um, so performance setting setup. So you can see lowering preset to 2940. Then it lowering preset to 2830. See, it went lower because it got hotter outside. So it was 169. Then it went to 162. And now it's sitting at 162. And it's just sitting there. Um, once our fan speed is less than 90, right now it's 93. And this is less than 75, which it is. It is less than 75. And this is, becomes less than 90. So basically when outside temperatures drop by about 5 degrees, this thing will pick back up and it'll go back to 169 terahash, it'll go back to 2940. And then when it goes cooler and cooler and cooler outside, it'll go eventually come back to 200 terahash. So that's how you set it up. Now you can have various settings here. Um, you can have, you can change this to 85, maybe change this to like 88, or maybe like 82, 88. You can play around with this and, and set up how you want. The other thing that we have um, for this firmware is uh, the preset standard preset value here at 3040. Why is this less than don't raise above 3480? The reason why this is less is, let's say your miner had an issue and you had to reboot it. If you reboot the miner and outside temperatures are 90 degrees, immediately after reboot, it's gonna set the standard. It's gonna set the preset standard, which means that if you set this to 200 terahash and then you restarted the miner at 90 degrees, it'll automatically not go back to what the preset was at that time. So let's say you were down clocked three, four, five profiles because it's, you know, you know like 95 degrees outside. So you're down clocked three, four, five profiles. But if you restart it, it'll start from the very top, which means it'll start at the highest profile. What happens at that situ in that situation is you're automatically telling the miner, mine at full blast, even though it's 95 degrees outside because of the restart. And by the time the miner you know, tries to do a check on it, which is every five minutes, the miner overheats because you're telling it to go full blast after a restart. And the miner will overheat. Miner will say overheat error because it doesn't have enough time to, um, to, to do the check, which is every five minutes. So you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have enough time to do that check. And so it's just going to restart, 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 restart. It's never going to mine until it gets cool enough where it can actually do the five minute check and then be like, oh, wow, this, this miner is overheating. We need to go down a profile. 
So it, it's never gonna do that check. So to go around that issue, you tell it do not start at full blast, start at something less, start at 175 terahash. So when it starts at this terahash, and outside temperatures are 95, it'll immediately be start, it'll mine for five minutes, and it'll say, wait a minute, it's really cool outside, why am I mining 175? It's gonna go up a level to 181, and they might go up another level to 187, and then at that point, it'll say, okay, 187 is what we need, this is good for you know 95 uh, degrees outside, or whatever it is. Now, every miner is different. Um, you can have miners, like this one's at 164, let me go to this one over here, this is one's 165, um, this one is 157, 156, 149, so this one has a harder time um, cooling itself off, 144, 158, you know, and all that. So, but they're basically all kind of in the same range. And uh, the, the, the difference the, for the reason, the reason for that, <laughs> mumbling some words, the reason for that uh, between these profiles, the reason why you see that is because the chips are all different. The, you know, the, we all know the saying, the lottery, right? You have the lottery for the chips just because you're producing the same ASIC chips and the same fab at the same time on the same wafer, doesn't mean that the ASIC chips are all gonna be of the same quality. Some chips are just better than other chips. You can have a chip right next to another one on the same exact wafer, you know, coming out from the same exact fab. Everything's exactly the same, but when you plug it in, for some reason, this, this ASIC chip or this batch of ASIC chips are just better than the next batch of ASIC chips, just a little bit better. It could be a couple of percentage points. So that means that one of these hash boards could have those ASIC chips that are just a little bit better quality than the other um, batch of ASIC chips. So you can see, like this one over here, you can see it has 70, 71, 71. You see the speed over here. But if you go down to uh, 166, which is faster than that miner, and you can see you can it actually has lower temperatures for the board, even though it's, it's hashing faster than this hash board, than this miner actually, it's hashing faster. So you can see that, and that just has to do with the A6 chips just coming out of the fab at uh, different, different uh, quality, you know? Even though, again, it's, it's the same exact company, made at the same exact place, it's just, it's just how it is. Sometimes you buy like an Intel processor, and for some reason it has one, two, three percent faster or slower performance than the same exact Intel processor that you bought from the same exact uh, store at the same exact time, it might be a couple of percentage points. Anyway, so this is the profile switcher we have. So this profile switcher and this firmware is what we give to our clients at no additional cost, right? We run this uh, for all of our clients. It's the best way to go. Um, this way, you do not overheat your miners. You do not want to run your miners full blast. You do not want to you know, kill the hash boards. You want them to run nice and cool. You can see this, look at this. 70 degrees is great, you know, 69, 71, 70. That's great temperatures. You're getting great efficiency. Yes, you're not mining at 200, that's true, but your miner is not being killed. Your miner is not running f like crazy 200 terahash and the fan speeds are at 100%, you know, just nonstop all day long. Your, your, your chips are, you know, 88 or 85 degrees uh, Celsius. They're just basically barely surviving. You do not want to do that. You want to run them cooler. Uh, you want to preserve their expectancy, you know, life expectancy, all that. You want to make sure that they run and don't have any issues. Also, you don't want to fry your hash boards. Uh, you don't want to kill your fans. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to uh, fry your control board or you want, you don't want your power supply to also go bad as well. You don't want any of those things to happen. So this is one way to go. And then of course your efficiency. So your efficiency, see here, 17.4. Um, this is just a uh, ballpark figure, it's around 17 in reality. This efficiency will stay basically the same. It'll stay at that 17 uh, point something level, again, because our target temperatures for the chips are all in the 70 range, 65, 70, maybe 75 maximum, but they're not gonna be at 85. You know, your, your joules per terahash are not gonna be 20. So that's the thing um, to keep in mind. So we do this for S19J Pros, we run them in low power mode, we do this for S19 Pros, S19Ks, we do this for L7s as well. Um, we do this for basically all miners, and this protects them. And um, so when you're, when you're uh, done mining on your miners and you wanna sell them, they're in great condition, the hash pores are not all fried, the hash pores are not you know, destroyed or anything like that. Now let's talk about cooling. So this is a cooling uh, setting you can set for your miners. This is a target chip temperature. So we're telling the miner, um, keep the chip temperatures at 65 or less. So basically the fan speed will spin up 
to keep the chip temperatures at 65. Now see how it's doing. The fan speed is at 93% and our chip temperature is 69, 71, 70. So it's doing a decent job. Um, the reason why they're not 65 is because we also have the profile switcher, which um, will keep the profile locked because the temperature is, uh, we're, telling, we're telling it that uh, go up if it's 75 or go down if it's 85. So you gotta keep that in mind. But if I remove the profile switcher um, and just keep it at stock, then this thing will just spin up to 100%. Um, and try to keep it at 65, but if it can't keep it at 65, it'll just run the fans 100%, whatever it is, is whatever it is. But as it gets cooler outside, the fan speed will start dropping off, because once it gets to 65, and let's say it goes to 64, then the fan speeds will go a little slower to keep it at 65, then it goes 63, 62, 61, then the fan speed will go slower, 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 that way, um, when it's uh, freezing outside, it's snowing outside, let's take that scenario, You're, it's snowing outside, your chips will be 65 but your fan speed will be like 20 percent so that's what that gives you very nice feature keeps your farm nice and cool and of course you can change this um, as you please for s19j pros we actually have this set at 55 um, because 55 gives you um, additional performance increase um, it cools off the miner a little better and that gives you some watt wattage savings. For these S21s, because they're full blast, it's, it's basically impossible um, to keep the Celsius on the chips lower than that. It's really hard. It has to be pretty cold outside to do that because these are full blast. But on, on low power mode S19J Pros, we set this to 55 and it keeps it like that. And you know, in the wintertime, even with 55 Celsius, the uh, fan speeds are still 20%, which is really good. Keeps the farm nice and cool. So yeah, so um, this video, again, we're, we're talking about the firmware we're using, talking about um, the uh, pluses and minuses. Uh, there actually are no minuses to using this firmware. It's great. It saves you uh, wattage um, just versus stock. If you take Bitmain um, and you just run their stock firmware, Vinish um, or Luxor or Brains um, or, or other types of firmware, they all... Uh, do a better job than, than Bitmain. They all provide more performance or more savings in wattage. So you're always going to be better off running custom firmware. The thing about custom firmware is not all farms do this. Not all hosting farms provide custom firmware because it is just more hassle, more problems for them. They don't want to install it, basically. Uh, they rather just run your miners. And, and plus, they don't really care if you're getting the best performance per miner because they just want to run the miners and get the kilowatt hours from it. It's kind of irrelevant for them if, they're my, if their clients are getting um, the best efficiency. But here at Crypto LLC, we care about our clients and we try to give them the absolute best efficiency for their miners. That's why our S19J Pros run at 23 watts a terahash, which is the same as an S19K. And the, how we do that is by uh, tuning the, the firmware to give you that result, to give you that perfect balance of airflow, fan speed, uh, chip temperature, um, and all that, and that provides that 23 watts a terahash. Um, well, that's going to be it uh, for today's video. Hope you guys like it. Um, leave a comment um, if you have any, uh, you know, some you want to put in some two cents from your side. Um, give us an idea of uh, maybe maybe you're running Luxor. Let us know what results you're getting on that firmware. Um, maybe you're running Brains and see what you're getting on that firmware. Um, there's also other settings here. Maybe we'll make another video talking about these settings over here. But uh, in today's video, just talking about the S21. And that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys like it. And until next time, goodbye.